Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Jack3, on what we can do to fix a problem where we can't select anything but curves in our viewport. Okay, so to illustrate this, I have the character from the Introduction to Character Rigging in Maya course. And if I were to try to select uh, the geometry here, notice that I'm able to select the curves, but I can't select any of the actual geometry. So if I come in and drag my selection, only my curves are getting selected. Now the first place we can look would be here in our display layers where we have the option to turn on things like our templating or reference. Uh, but as we can see, I don't have any of that enabled. So the next place we can look um, is actually up here in the status line. Right here we have what are called selection masks. So basically, we have the ability to turn on and off the uh, ability to select things in our viewport. So right now, if I were to turn all objects on by left clicking on this little arrow here, I can come in and select everything here in my viewport. Or we can come in and manually disable things. Uh, say if I wanted to not be able to select surfaces, I can check that and now I can not select my surface here but I can select things like my curves. If I wanted to turn off my curves I can simply turn that off and now I'm no longer able to select the curves in my scene. Now what's really nice uh, about the selection mask is that we actually have the ability to right click on these icons to get a even more uh, finite level or more fine level of control over what we can and cannot select. So uh, let's come in and let's turn all of our objects on and say this uh, character body here is a polygon surface. So if I right click on my surfaces, I can disable the selection for poly surfaces. So now I can no longer select any polygons in my scene, but I'm still able to select things like NURBS, subdivision surfaces, and planes uh, that are, may be in my scene. So that's a look at how we can use the selection masks to get a fine level of control over what objects we can select as well as what objects we want to make sure that we don't accidentally select if we don't want to. Now if you want to learn some more about how to move around in the Maya interface, check out the Introduction to Maya 2011 course.